Heart registration official, busy stamping which had been which had been piled up all around him. Very mechanically, suddenly he stops for a moment. Then it is seen busy with himself. With a lot of his might and all of his power, he is seen pulling his heart out from his chest. He seems so relieved that at, that at last he no longer has a heart. He is proud. As an official, he is already so loyal, obedient, and highly dedicated to taking part in and supporting the heart seizure long-term program by surrendering his own heart. No longer after this, suddenly something is thrown in front of him. It's a heart, and it startles him. He looks up, trying to find who the hell threw it in front of him just now. He decides that, that later he will take the up, aforementioned heart and examine it more closely. <coughs> Nodding his head, he then immediately takes a hammer shaped tool. Then, steadily, the official pounds a heart which came from who knows where. There, there is thumping music which can be heard whenever the, the official pounds the heart. Cut. Blackout. The lights move, off, move to the screen. The shadows of figures who have had their heart, had their chest hollowed out can be seen lining up to, to donate their hearts. Then the stage becomes brighter. The heart registration official busily receives the heart deposits. The citizens wait in line with sincerity and the strong desire to donate their hearts. A person emerges carrying a plastic bag filled with hearts and hands them over to the official who immediately steps, steps in. Then emerges a woman dressed like a ring, li a ring girl from a boxing match. There are also little children dragging their hearts along the ground like toy cars made from an orange peel. There are a variety of alternating characters which emerge, sometimes urging <coughs> one another, scrambling up to go first. They donate the heart, a a variety, they donate, donate a variety of hearts. Some of them, <coughs> some of them, some are very small, some are large, some are pierced with arrows, some resemble lint cotton candy, and so on. The heart registration official <coughs> is at his wrist end, facing, facing the enthusiasm of the people. Occasionally, <coughs> the Lord of 17, then emerges a person who hands over their heart. No more 1945, a person arrives to surrender their heart very enthusiastically. He hurries up, but then apologizes. The person becomes aware that, the, that, that they have left their heart behind at their, at their house. They apologize, then turn back in a hurry. No more 750 ribu, an old, an old man appears, who has already surrendered his heart several times, which makes the official raise his eyebrows. <laughs> oh, you just recently deposited your heart. Oh my god, I can only do this once, I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Um, sir, it, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't feel satisfied yet. It's, it's like I've had sex and haven't had an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the nods his, his head, then the, the person goes away. The people return back in life to hand over their hearts. At the corresponding register. No more 150 juta, no more 165 juta, no more 179 juta. The official <laughs> continues calling out numbers. The old person emerges again. Jesus, you again? You're still not satisfied? Where the hell are we? <laughs> <laughs> um, sir, my heart regrew again. <laughs> the official quickly receives a heart and continues to record the hearts which are piled up some time later. No more 200 juta. No one emerges. No more 200 juta. Quickly, don't make a scene. Once again, to no more 200 juta. Immediately submit your heart. But no one comes forward. No. Seeing this, the official starts to panic. His repeated shouting reverberates through the area as though it has, it has come out of a million watt megaphone. 
Attention, attention to Namo 200 Juta. Could you immediately surrender your heart? His calling of Namo 200 million continues to echo, dominating the room, while sirens roar, chasing down and often accompanied by the roar of steps, locked up cars, and roaring, creaking, ripping, terrorizing, lights out. The mega <coughs> echo can be heard, still be faintly heard. Then the lights spread out, half <coughs> the section of the stage. Carmel can be seen, seen suddenly standing, stunned. His breathing slows down, he is out of breath. He has just recently undertaken a long journey, a journey which is full of anxiety and hunting. In a long and quick stretch of time, nightmares still surround him and dominate him. The echo of the megaphone, which calls out for no more 200 shunda, still chases him. Carmel continues to run. He goes off stage, then disappears. <laughs> the lights dim, which carry the play over to the next scenes. 